I don't know how it happened. Well, I do actually. But one day, 33 years ago, I woke up as the father of two little girls. It was part of the deal. Their mother was pretty emphatic that if I wanted to hang out with her, and I did, these little bundles of joy were going to be a part of the deal. So I'm a stepdad, have been for 33 years, and I have a few observations. I think the best part of being a stepdad, or a stepmom for that matter, but this is sort of a Father's Day blog, is that it was, is, and always has been a choice, for me at least. Biological dads often make the choice to be a parent too, but sometimes it's an unanticipated surprise and they just get informed the family's about to expand. Now, not having a genetic connection to the youngsters we're taking responsibility for can be both a blessing and a curse. First, as any step kid will tell you, at least once, you're not the real dad, and that's accurate. My response to that, which is a family legend for decades now, has always been, you're right, but I volunteered for this mission. As if that would somehow get me some sympathy or stature or cooperation. The fact is, I did volunteer for that mission. I clearly accepted that I was not their biological father, but that I was to accept an ongoing role in their development as productive citizens of the world, lovers of all things inquisitive and adventuresome, drivers of cars with standard transmissions, and eventually, hopefully, parents of kids they could do the same with. I wore the mantle I volunteered for this mission all through their life within our home. It was used frequently to reduce sibling battles to giggles, emotional breakdowns to hugs, and occasionally to rein in an out-of-control episode. The piece I didn't really understand at the outset, and it's important to keep in mind, is that they didn't volunteer for this. They had no say in what their parents decided to do, nor any say in who their mother picked to spend the rest of their childhood with. Unlike me, who made a rational decision and chose the role, they were pretty much thrust into this arrangement with the goal of making the best of it all. I was reduced to only hoping they would be as dedicated to the process as I was determined to be. I don't know if any of this matches any of your experiences. I know some step relatives frequent this blog. If you are or have been a step parent, I can only hope that your volunteer service is being or has been as lovingly accepted by your charges as mine has. I'm so very proud of my two girls and the lives they put together for themselves. I couldn't be happier. I volunteered for this mission, and I'd do it all over again. And I had a wonderful Father's Day. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.